Welcome to Need RV. Hey, I appreciate you stopping by. And of course, you got here just in time. Too many cars. That's right, just in time for another, as it says, virtual tour of South Llano River State Park. Check that out. There's actually a piece of the park, in case, in case you don't know, I didn't know, there's a piece of the park right over there. So let me, let me gear up and we'll go for a ride. Got to get everything in proper order here. So I can give you the ultimate. The ultimate, I say. This is the ultimate experience. And off we go. Off. Off with his aid. All right, South Leno River State Park is on South Leno River. <laughs> Imagine that. What a novel concept. It's not a, as far as the facilities, the camping and stuff like that, it's not a real big park. There's a whole lot of backcountry stuff though. A lot of stuff that I'm not going to get to take advantage of. But you can. Provided you have a way to get there. If you can walk. So they've recently replaced a low water crossing with a bridge. At one point you actually drove down to water level to get into the state park and and now you don't have to go down there because when it flooded when the south Llano river flooded you couldn't get in or out and now you have a nice big wide bridge and we're so considerate i think i have a fire ant biting my foot that happens a lot these days. All right. There are a whole lot of pecan trees down in this river bottom. They don't have any pecans on them because it's been so very dry. in the Texas Hill Country, so your native plant life with a mix of hardwoods like mesquite, pecan, live oak, and then you have your junipers and other prickly pear cactus and some, uh, some other sharp and pointy stuff. Like, right out here you see all the, the cacti and then the pecan trees. And then over here you see some mesquite trees. It's a real click mix when you're in the river bottom. And you get up on the hill, on the rise on the hill, it's hardwoods and junipers and mesquite. Hardwood like live oak, very hardy live oak. Ground is very rocky when you get it out of the river bottom. Not a whole lot of soil. There are quite a few head of deer in this park. Lots of indication of feral hog. Of course, that's statewide anymore. You will have ample opportunity to hike and bike. And the RV 
Jimmy Kent Fleischer were quite nice. This video is going to just take us to the camp loop, the RV camping loop, and we'll end it there. I have already created a scooter virtual tour, a virtual tour from the scooter uh, on my previous visit. And we went down into the day use area the, where all the uh, basically picnic tables and barbecue bits are. Now this is going to be fantastic when they finish it. This is the new main office. There will be a store and probably a little nature center, learning center. They're currently still set up in the original building, which is an old farmhouse which is really cool. I mean, if you're into old farmhouses, if you're not into old farmhouses, you'll wonder why they haven't replaced it sooner. here yeah, that's a that's a five foot gauge that's a lot of water and the hill country is just as prone to flash flooding i don't know what's down here i think this is all residents well, there's a primitive camping area that i'm i'm overlooked now. i've been negligent in my duty Maintenance area. Authorized vehicle zone. We're not authorized. Here's the old Armstrong house. The park residence. You have to see the front of the, the, the office here. We gotta go around the other way. All right. I had to come back up here and, and check out some of the stuff that I've overlooked. That will be on uh, the experiential video, which will have aired this past Sunday. So if you go to click on the channel, or not necessarily click on the channel, but if, yeah, you check, click on the channel icon down there and. Uh, you can see the, the first playlist is every video that is posted. So we're going to turn in here. Right now, if you're checking in, you've got to turn into the little parking lot here. Get out and go into the farmhouse. connection RV site so you have a dump station right there it's a two-laner two-hole dump station this is a dark sky park so please be courteous of your neighbors and don't leave your porch lights on we're going to do the loop in both directions so we're going to start out by breaking the law breaking the law breaking the law we're going to go the wrong way just had a bug fly in my ear i hate that the only thing worse than that is having one go up my nose while i'm on the bike there are no pull through sites so, 
Brush up on your backing skills. Otherwise, you'll give us, your neighbors, lots of entertainment. Right, Tom? I have several handicap sites. Fortunately, the one we're in is very level. It's easy to get the coach done. Our hydraulic system is, is out, of, out of whack. So having a flat site was pretty important to us. time we the first time which was the last time the first time we visited which was the last time we visited South Llanow River State Park we were on our way back from I think Big Ben and we kept we kept encountering the same trap RVers at every park that we went to so we, we were not the only ones hopping Texas State Park that on that journey I think they have 42 sites here. I have a lot of primitive camping sites as well, but I don't really touch on those with this video. That is the experiential video.
lost in my own world while you're just cruising along looking at the sights. I don't want to interrupt your thoughts. We are headed to Eclipse Days, D-A-Z-E. Once in a lifetime opportunity for the dude RV crew to get together and watch a very unique solar eclipse. The Ring of Fire. Flight number 57, how about that? 58, 58 sites total. I think that's probably the flattest site on <laughs> in the loop. Hold on, let me, let me swap covers, head covers. There we go. Now I am properly attired. That brings us to the end of this virtual tour of South Llano. Is it Llano or Llano? South Llano River State Park. If you found some value, please click on that thumbs up. Blast me out across your social media. Shout it to the hills. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> I got myself. <coughs> I got sucked. I think I inhaled a bug. Anyway, we're done. Thank you for following along. If you're still with me at this point, I am most honored. If you haven't already, I'd be honored and grateful if you would consider clicking on the subscribe button. And for those of you who have been following along, man, that's that's why I get to do what I do. That's why I'm here. Thank you for that opportunity. I wouldn't have stopped back by here. We'd have just kept right on driving. But I needed to do one of those videos. All right, and for my patrons, I am most grateful. It is because of you that we have that. So thank you for that. You guys rock. All right, y'all come back now, you hear?